Hey, what's up guys? Matthew Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go over a quick shooting tip on how I stuff my magazines on an unloaded start when the magazines must come from a table. But we're gonna talk about the addition of a magnet, which is now legal in USPSA production. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the barrel as my tabletop, and we're gonna start in an unloaded position with the gun on the table. The black magazine will always be the mag that is gonna go into the weapon or the firearm, and my chrome magazines are always gonna be the magazines that go into the pouch. So as you can see, I have the magazine. What I like to do is kind of come up to my loading area and then mimic that and place it right down on the table. That way when I grab the magazine, like I traditionally do with the finger forward on the front, like I would coming out of a pouch, it's in the angle already to insert into my firearm. So everybody's a little unique. Some people don't do as much of an angle, they load straight up. So just find that position where you're about to insert the magazine, and then I place the gun right on the table. So right now I'll show you how that looks. So that's how I go over an unloaded start. The goal there is not necessarily to be the fastest off the line, all right? I just wanna be consistent. I wanna load that gun, get it going and firing, and then leverage all my other techniques in the stage to give myself a competitive advantage to win that stage. So now we need to stuff one magazine. This is where I feel the magnet will give a competitive advantage for most shooters, because now we don't have to find the actual magazine pouch uh, and place it in there. This is why I see most people struggle, they miss it, and they can't get it in. Well, now with the magazine, we can just slap it on here. My goal is I wanna move away from this tabletop as fast as I can. I don't wanna sit here while I load my pouches, right? So everything's built on efficiency and consistency, right? So remember, the black magazine is my load mag. This is what's going into the gun. I typically place it on the table in what I call the point method, where I have the magazines kind of stacked like this. So when I grip, the meaty portion of the magazines, right? I have one that has about half of the magazine upright. So what I do is I grab that magazine and my goal here is to have the second magazine base pad in the palm of my hand. So that's the grab. The reason I do a point when it comes to the, to the magnet is I don't want this magazine to be interfered by the magnet where it can get pulled out of my hand or shift this magazine because I'm pulling it off the magazine and shift this in a funky position that can get knocked off or when I go to grab it, it's like in my hand weird. So the upright point of the magazine is targeting the magnet. Now, when I'm stuffing one, I wanna grab the gun and the magazines at the same time and start moving, okay? You don't, it should not be a sequence where you grab stuff then move, it's all together. So I'm gonna grab the magazines and the firearm I'm going to step with my lead foot, hit that magazine, get my eyes kind of on the magwell and then looking at the target, load and go, okay? Now what if you have to stuff two magazines? The first mag is always going to the magnet. And what I like to do though is three magazines separate on the table so I can grab them with fingers between them and pinched 
And again, I'm focusing on the load mag base pad being in the palm of my hand. So now with stuffing three, my load mag is always going to be the last magazine to the outside. My magnet mag, all right, is always gonna be the first mag. And then the middle mag is going to be going into the first pouch. I pinch, first mag to magnet, second mag and pouch, third mag loads. We'll see that with the firearm this time. Pinch. Now, the nice thing about this is no matter your stuff in one, two, uh, the process really doesn't change uh, because the first mag is always going to go to the magnet and your load mag is always going to be the end. So it's easy to remember. It's easy to be consistent then. You're not like kind of scrambling when you see that stage uh, to go to the dry fire and figure out your methods. So again, Now we get into my last, I've only had this happen one time in five years where I needed to stuff three magazines. Now, everything stays the same minus your start. You have to come back for the weapon. Now, if the weapon is unloaded holstered, you can take off. But if it's on the table, my start changes a little bit. First magazine is still magnet, but now I'm gonna grab it with my gun hand. So that's gonna go right to the magnet, just like this. The other three are the same technique. I'm gonna pinch the three, my load mag focusing on the base pad in the palm of my hand, and then this mag is gonna go to the second pouch. I like to go to the back pouch and then forward, okay? So I grab, second pouch, first pouch, load, okay? Let's do that one more time. So I grab the pinch, grab this, magnet, second pouch, first pouch, load. Now once you get magazine on the magnet, you can grab the gun. In fact, that's what you're supposed to be doing while you're loading the pouches. All right, and you can start moving once you grab the gun. So let's do that one more time. So. This is the only time where you have to come back to the table to pick up the firearm. I don't like trying to put two magazines on there. One, you can miss, all right, and it could fall off. And two, when you go to hit a reload, you could drop this one. So I, I like a magnet rule, only one. There is the option of having multiple magnets. I think that gets a little excessive. I've only ever had to stuff multiple magazines, meaning stuff three, one time before and everybody had to do it and, it, and it wasn't the most efficient thing. That's not what won the stage.